Hey guys, welcome. Uh, welcome back to ATL QA Labs. My name is Hetu, and uh, today we will uh, look at uh, one of the important clause in SQL. So that's called order by clause, and uh, we will also will look at uh, distinct keyword, which is very important as well. And then after that, we will uh, look at the question and uh, you know interview related question that can be asked in this uh, uh, based on these clauses, right? Okay. So let's uh, go back to uh, the SQL prompt, right? And then we will see. So I already have a table here. Let me see the data now. Yeah, guys, you see that we have 16 rows here, right? So what we will uh, we will use this table, and then we will uh, try to understand that, right? So the first we will look at the order by clause. So what is order by clause, right? Uh, so order by clause is basically um, um, what do you say? The shorting the data, right? So shorting the data based on certain field right so it can be shorted based on ascending or descending order right so any any field uh, are you know uh, the sorting concept itself is it can be shorted based on that value right so here for example let's say i want to short out the values based on uh, department number here right so either it can be sorting based on ascending or descending order so let's try and try to short out the entire table data uh, based on department number in ascending order okay so let's say select star which means I want to display all the uh, columns right data and uh, select star from employee now I have to use guys order by clause order by this is the clause that I have to use and then after that I have to give the column name so on which column we want to put we want to put the shorting on department number right and then uh, uh, after that I have to mention the, uh, the the column name and then I have to say ascending or descending so let's say I have to say ascending so for ascending I have to use ASC okay now let's try to run it and see whether the data is really sorted now see guys now if you look at carefully what is happening here is so it has shorted the data okay based on the department number so department number 100 is coming first and then 101 103 104 106 right it is clearly it can be clearly seen right now let's say if i want to short the data based on uh, i mean short out the rows based on maybe Mm, maybe based on salary right so salary what will happen is the lowest salary will come on top and then highest will come down right so let's say I have to get a salary here now see the lowest salary minus yeah I mean this is not like you know the possible we have taken this example because we wanted to run some short of uh, SQL query so that's why it's minus salary okay but uh, in reality there is no minus salary either it can be zero i mean no salary or it can be some net, uh, positive number right so here if you see just treat this as a number right so the number minus 2000 coming which is the lowest one and then the highest one is 80000 right so this is how it is so if you want to short out the entire total uh, so so this entire record is shorted right because when you short out a particular column right so that particular column will come on top for example this one but along with that the every every field will also come uh, on top uh, corresponding to that right so when you short out some data the entire record will be shorted basically yeah so you see here everything is sorted now let's say for example i want to sort based on descending order okay so I want to short out uh, based on descending order of uh, 
that's a department number so what will happen uh, one, 106 will come on top right okay let's see so for d descending d e s c i have to say all right run it you see the department number 106 has come on top and 100 has come on the bottom right because we are actually uh, shorted based on descending order so descending means the 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 maximum number will come on top and the lowest number list number will come on the bottom right so this is how we are we can do this shorting okay so this is the shorting on the number you can either short based on ascending or descending right and this is the syntax right so you have to say select star if you want to short out the entire table otherwise if you want to short out let's say for example maybe employee number all right mp number in that case what will happen uh, and okay guys so maybe i can do one thing dpt number itself right so i'm actually trying to sort out uh, that d based on the dpt number so what will happen only this column will come right if i want some other column also i can just use it let's say emp number yeah the order of the column can be anything guys okay it doesn't matter so let's say i tried it right so this is exactly the same uh, thing that is coming only thing is when i say star i'm selecting all the columns in this case we have selected only these two columns but the values will be same right so if you see that 106 in the previous one this is the same query only thing is we have taken only employee number so you see employee number 15 14 13 12 11 10 9 8, and something like that so everything is same only right only thing is we have selected only two columns okay so in this case as i said that the order does not matter so in this case we have taken department number first and then dpt number now we are taking in the normal order right so employee number as per our table okay this is also same only thing is the order of uh, uh, the you know uh, columns are changed okay so this is all about uh, you know about ascending order and descending order guys and let's take that uh, example that we want to means uh, we wanted to find out something right so as part of interview so it said that display the employee table data in ascending order by employee salary we have seen it right uh, display the employee data table in descending order of its employee salary we have also seen this also right so for ascending asc and for descending desc we are using after add order by and then name of the column and that right so we have seen that now the third question is display unique department number from employee table so what does it mean when i say unique let's try to understand a bit so let's try here all right so when i say uh, unique right unique unique department number okay unique department number means i just want uh, when i say select DEPT number from employee okay so I will show you what it is giving it is giving you all the department number it just displaying that right every record every uh, value from that particular department number but uh, don't you think that uh, there might be requirement to check how many basically the departments are there in this particular employee table right so somebody who is interested to know how many department numbers are there how many not how many basically which all right unique so in this case if you see that uh, these two are uh, duplicate these two are duplicate this is duplicate again 196 and again hundreds are duplicate repeated right so i just want to know what all the departments are there i mean only that right duplicate i don't want right so i just want to know uh, all of them so there is a uh, keyword called distinct okay so distinct is a keyword that you can use distinct means it will only give you unique all right so it will not display the not display the duplicate one it will just give if i have got let's say 100 already then after that i will not get displayed with 100 it will be only one times okay let's try to see okay 
so 100 has come on 101 104 103 106 guy these are the different different employee uh, sorry department number so we have to use the distinct keyword so this can be one of the interview question people can ask you yeah that uh, can you uh, tell me how do you how do i find the distinct department number in the similar way um, they can also ask okay how do you find the distinct record in the table right so for the distinct record guys so similarly right for all the records means i record means i want all the distinct not here it is a distinct column i write one column but uh, if i need all the records then instead of one column i have to say star isn't it guys so let's say select distinct so guys remember that we had 16 rows before right so it should uh, I, i'll show you first okay so let's say um, star okay distinct then instead of one column name i will say star because it is considering all the all the columns guys you see that we have got only 15 rows why 15 rows why not 16 rows so we will see that which one is the I will just run it guys okay there is one department which is uh, I mean not only department entire record so you see this Nilesh right here Nilesh Rao exactly same information is there right so th this is the repeated two times okay it's two times repeated basically this particular entire record so that's why it is showing 16 but when I say uh, in previous query if I okay let me run it here itself so i should here i see four records when we are not using the distinct now i should see only four only one times right so record number four you see here guys we do not have record number employee number four anywhere right so this is why it is uh, this is the reason why it is giving you only 15 rows so to uh, find only distinct record which means unique record which means if there are duplicated records then it will only show you once okay for that particular uh, uh, for that particular rows okay so in that case uh, you can use the distinct so distinct keyword is also very popular and uh, you might expect the question from that right so this is what we wanted to see display unique rows a record from the employee before that we have seen that unique uh, display unique department numbers right that we have seen so these are the all possible questions that uh, can be asked in uh, interview right okay one more question guys before that bonus question okay so people might ask you what is the so what is the by default so let's say by default uh, shorting right so how does it happens so let's say if i say select start from emp order by dpt number okay and if i don't say anything what will happen something should happen yes definitely so one second guys so order by it should be order by so you see guys this is already uh, shorting based on the department number but on what so you see 100 101 and 300 and 406 right looks like this is ascending order correct guys so when i say ascending order here asc and then try it's exactly the same um, same information right see here exactly the same same okay so what does it mean by default the order by clause is ascending order okay so if you do not mention the asc for ascending then also it will be working fine uh, so we if you want to sort it uh, means uh, sort it out based on descending then only you have to say desc okay but if you want to sort some record uh, based on uh, ascending order you no need to mention okay so this is the last one i wanted to talk about okay guys so this is uh, all about uh, this this clause right so i hope that uh, this information are uh, helpful to you and uh, please practice it because you might expect the interview questions from this right so i think for now this is 
all i wanted to cover guys thank you thank you for watching and uh, do not subscribe do not forget to subscribe my channel guys thank you and uh, until then happy learning uh, see you soon with the next video thanks